In this video, we're going to look at how to set up a digital product with WooCommerce. A digital product consists of downloadable files that will be automatically emailed to the customer after payment. Since we love all things purple here in Purple Fill, we've decided to design a desktop background for our own computer. And hey, it's a digital product that we might want to sell, right? All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Click on Products and click Add New. We're going to call this Stylish Abstract Purple Desktop Wallpaper. Let's add a little bit of text in here. Be inspired by all things purple. Add this Stylish Purple Wallpaper to your desktop computer or your phone's lock screen. <laughs> all right, over here on Categories, let's go ahead and add a new category. And we'll call it Wallpapers. Hit enter, and we have our new category. Under product data, let's click on virtual and downloadable. It's important to note that most, but not all virtual products are downloadable. Virtual means that there is no physical product. Downloadable means that there's a file that's downloaded. So if you're creating a membership site or you know a membership to a service, then that would be a virtual product, but not a downloadable one. Also, if you sell a video game that includes downloadable files and a backup CD, that would be a downloadable file, but not virtual. This is because there's a physical component that needs to be shipped. In this example, we have a downloadable file with no physical product, so we selected both virtual and downloadable. When you click downloadable, you'll notice that the shipping tab disappears. This is because virtual products don't need any shipping, of course. All right. Our regular price then, let's just say $10. Let's go to downloadable files here and we'll add the file. Let's choose the file and let's go ahead and upload the file. This should be in the OS training folder that you downloaded earlier. All right, select the image that you just uploaded and let's give it some alt text and click insert file URL. So you should see the file URL in there now. Leave the download limit as unlimited, the expiry as never. Let's add a product image. Of course, you can choose that same product image you just uploaded. And click Publish. All right, let's take a look at our fantastic new downloadable product. I'm going to click on Shop. Stylish. Abstract purple wallpaper. The cost is $10. So let's add that to cart and view our cart. I can go ahead and check out. It remembers me from last time. I'll go ahead and paste the fake credit card number in and click place order. So my order has been received and I have the ability to immediately download the wallpaper right from that button. So one of the things we probably ought to do with this product, of course, is give it a bit better name. That's easy to do. Back over here on my product, you'll notice the name is here and I can just say abstract purple wallpaper. Click update. And there is the name reflected in my download link. I also got a fantastic email. And remember, we haven't even edited this yet, but it's a pretty good looking email. Once again, I can download it right from here. Congratulations, you've added your very first digital product to your WooCommerce store. Let's take a quick peek at the order. Here it is here, number 20, two minutes ago completed. And I can click on that and see what the order was for. It was for my stylish abstract wallpaper. Let's add a little bit more detail to this screen. I'm going to click on screen options. I'm going to add the ship to and the actions buttons. Click apply. And you'll notice there's no action here because this order has been completed. Once I ship this t-shirt, then I can come back in here, click complete. And of course, the order is completed. 
And there you have it. Back here on the front page, I'm going to click on my account and I, let's take a look at the orders that I've placed. You'll see there's the two orders that I've made. And since I just marked that completed on the back end, it's been completed on the front end. If I want to view my order, simply click on the view link and it'll show me all of the order details. So we've set up simple products and we can now offer digital files with our products as well. Next, we're going to cover variable products. A variable product is much more complicated, but it's also an incredibly flexible type of product. They let the user choose from different options for each product. You as a store owner will have the power to choose different images, different stock, and even different pricing for each variation.